Hello, grade 12. Today we're going to continue with uh, question 7 um, from June 2021, um, question paper done in the province of the Northern Cape. Okay, This question is about organic chemistry and it's, um, it's the latest. The follow diagram, the flow diagram below, show how alcohols can react to form other organic um, compounds. And then you have the flow diagram, which we are going to see just now. Let's go to 7.1. 7.1 said, write down the meaning of the term secondary alcohol. So let's probably go and uh, have a small summary on alcohols, right? So alcohol. Ah. Alcohols. Alcohols are organic compounds that have the functional group hydroxyl. OH. This is functional group hydro hydroxyl. All right. So the alcohol is an organic compound that have the functional group hydroxyl or OH. Now we have three different type of alcohol. We have a primary alcohol. We have a secondary alcohol. And we have a tertiary alcohol. Right? Those are the three different types of alcohol. Primary, secondary, and tertiary. Right? Now, when alcohol is going to be primary? That is when the OH is connected, is bonded to a carbon. which is bonded to only one carbon to only one carbon for example the OH will be bonded to a carbon which is bonded only to one carbon you can see that the carbon that is bonded to the OH is bonded to only one carbon right what is a secondary alcohol. In a secondary alcohol, the OH is bonded to a carbon which is bonded to two other carbons. Right? In this case, OH is bonded to carbon, which is bonded to two carbons, right? This is what we call secondary alcohol. And by logic now, the um, tertiary alcohol, the OH, is bonded to a carbon, which is bonded to three other carbons, right? OH will be bonded to a carbon that must be bonded to three carbon, right? That is a tertiary alcohol. Let's uh, make sure every carbon has the four lines, right? So that is the difference between primary, secondary, and tertiary alcohol. And question one, in question one, they ask you about secondary alcohol will be this one. So all you have to say for um, for you to get a mark is to answer um, the secondary alcohol. All right? The hydroxyl group is bonded to a carbon which is bonded to two other carbon. That is the question and then if you do that you get two marks. All right? So that is the first question state and write down the meaning of the term secondary Alcohol. Let's go to the second question. This is 7.1. Right? No, 7.2. <clears throat> Sorry. 7.2 said, write down the IUPAC name of alcohol use now. Let's go back here to the chart. Now, in the chart, you have here a compound that is shown to you. Here, you don't know. In secondary code, you don't know. 
you don't know the alkene, you don't know the alkane. But you know this compound, which is a halogen, this is a halo um, alkane. This is halo alkane. A halo alkane with four carbons. Four carbon. Therefore, everything must have four carbon. So this one must be four carbon, which is prop, so will be prop. Alright? This is prop. This is prop. Right? Now we're talking about the secondary alcohol. Alright? Let's go here. Let's go quickly here. We have an alcohol which have three carbons. Alright? And then, to be a secondary alcohol, the OH must be connected to a carbon which is connected to two other carbons. So the OH must be connected right there. And then everything else are just hydrogens. Remember, the question don't ask you to write down the structural formula, it asks you for the name. But I think you get the structural number is easier. So this is prop, and therefore is propan. If you don't write the AN, you don't get the mark. So propan. In what carbon is the OH? The OH is in carbon 2, 1, 2, and 3. Propan, 2, all. This is the name of the alcohol used. So here it is propan, propan, 2, all. That is the alcohol used in this side of the uh, chart. Okay, so um, let's go on. Let's go on. At question 7.3. Write down the type of reaction represented by A and B. So 7.3. And let's use here a small summary as well to identify. We have three different types of reaction. We have addition. We have elimination. And we have substitution. Those are the two main reactions we did, what we're dealing with now. How to identify addition? And this is a small trick. In the addition, the reaction will happen or will go. In the reactant, you will have an organic compound with a double bond. And that one will go to a single bond in the product. This is a way to identify it. Eh? So, as a rule, we can say that in the reactant, in addition, you will have a compound with a double bond, and in the product, you will have an organic compound with a single bond. In elimination, you will have a, in the reactant a single bond, and in the product, you will have an organic compound with a double bond. And in the substitution, in the substitution, you will have a compound with a single bond in the reactant and that will go also to single bond in the product all right so now let's go to reaction and this one is for 7.3.1 you go from alcohol to halo alkane okay 7.3.1 7.3.1. You go from alcohol, and then on the other side you have halo alkane. Alcohols always have single bond. Halo alkane always have single bond. Okay, so single bond, single bond. What is that? That is substitution. So the answer here is substitution. Let's use the green. So the reaction 8, and let's write it here. 8 is substitution. Now, I don't recommend to write the specific substitution reaction because you may get confused and this is a very easy way to identify the type of reaction all right now if they want to go into a specific one they will ask you write down 
the type of addition or the type of substitution. In this case, they say identify the reaction. Okay, so let's go now to 7.3.2 and they ask in 7.3.2 for reaction B. Reaction B is this one here. You go for, from a haloalkane to an alkene. So you go from Haloalkane to alkene. Alright? Haloalkane to alkene. Note, haloalkanes always have single bonds. And alkenes have double bonds. Alright? So, what is um, single to double? Single to double is elimination. So, that reaction is elimination. Nation. So, reaction B is elimination. Now, here, for identifying the um, type of reaction, you get two marks. One for this one, one for this one. Alright? So, that is the question 7.3. Let's go to 7. Point four. Now, question 7.4, they say write down the valence equation for the reaction B using the structural formula. Okay, so here we're going, uh, we have a haloalkane with four carbons, haloalkane with four carbon with chlorine. We have one, sorry, with three carbons, um, yes, uh, three carbons. There we go, CH3. Let's write whatever we have before. Just for you to know, we have CH3, CH, CH, CL, CH3. So let's make this one into structural formula. C with three hydrogen, C with one H and one CL, C with the three hydrogens. Let's complete the hydrogens. What is the name of this one? This is two. Chloro propane. This is not part of the question, but um, let's write the name anyway. Now, here in the chart, you can see that they add in concentrated potassium hydroxide. So, here they add KOH. And I'm going to write here concentrated. Let me just see, clean this one. Concentrated. Now, what is going to happen here? This is a going to an alkene. It's elimination, all right? So the chlorine, the chlorine here is going to go away, as well as one hydrogen. They will go away. So what will you have in the product? You will have carbon that become an alkene because the chlorine is gone. And one hydrogen is gone. Right? So this is one of the product. Alright? Now, what is the name of this compound? This is propene. Propene. You don't have to say propene though, to one propene because either side is going to be number one. Alright? Now, plus. Plus, what happened? The chlorine here, this chlorine will come with the potassium to form potassium chloride. And the hydrogen will go with the OH to form H2O. So here you will have the potassium chloride and then you will also have the water okay that is the reaction here you will get one mark for the reactant this reactant one mark for this product one mark for this one and the final mark for the water this is 
four marks. The total of the question is going to be 10 marks. Thank you very much. I hope it helped. Please write a comment if you don't understand something. I'll be more than pleased to um, explain once more. Thank you very much. Next time we'll go to question 8.